hello my name is Edison welcome back uh, to my youtube channel and today I'll be making my first video in uh, free art tools uh, on stm-2 and today what I'll be doing is a very simple introduction uh, a demonstration of how you can blink two LEDs at different uh, rates and uh, what you learn in this video is one you'll find you'll know how to create a task and then you'll know how to uh, delete a task so what is a task a task is just an infinite while loop with its own stack and priority so you'll find that in free actors uh, you can define different priorities for different tasks that means uh, the task with the higher priority will always given uh, most of the time by the Arctos uh, APIs to run and then uh, after it has finished running then uh, the scheduler uh, takes turn on the lower priority uh, task so I'll go ahead and uh, create a new project and I will be using F401 nuclear board and start project you can initialize the default mode so I'll go ahead and uh, clear all the pinouts and uh, I'll, I have two LEDs with me and uh, the first LED uh, is connected to pin PA5 so I'll name that pin uh, green LED because that is where I have connected my green LED and uh, pin PA6 I have connected the uh, blue LED so I'm also going to give that uh, a label blue LED then uh, go to system call uh, under C's I'll select another time base apart from Cystic uh then i'll go to rcc and enable the uh, ceramic uh, resonators then go to midware and in free actors i'll be using version one for uh, this series of tutorials and uh, from here we are interested in task where uh, later we shall look on timers and semaphores and uh, how also to use mutexes in R2. So when you go to task, you'll find that there is this task. This is generated uh, by default, and uh, it is given a name default task. And I'm going to name this task uh, task one. And uh, you can see that it has a normal priority. Uh, and uh, you can see that you can select other priority levels and then the stack size is 128 for that uh, task and then uh, the entry function this is the function that will be generated whereby uh, task 1 will run and uh, I shall name that green LED task then click OK so uh, you can see that uh, we have changed that so uh, the other task to run the blue led i'll be showing you how to uh, create one after the code is generated so then i go to call configuration uh, everything seems okay to me so i can select the external uh, clock and I have these as 84 megahertz and then in the project manager I'm going to give my project a name uh, free artos tasks then I'll be using Kelly vision so I'm going to select MDK arm then generate code So I'll go ahead and open project. Uh, from here, I go to application user call, open the main.c, and uh, 
first build the project. So uh, the project has no errors. So I'll go and uh, take you a tour inside the generated code. And you can see that we have uh, the OS thread ID uh, for the uh, variable uh, task one handle. This is for the green LD task. And then we have this uh, prototype function for the uh, green LED task. And uh, inside the main, we also have this uh, definition and creation of the task one, which is the green LED task. And then you can see that the handle is assigned to uh, to the OS thread create. So it returns a uh, a value to the task one handle so from there uh, in the definition of the green LED task uh, we have this infinite while loop uh, you can use this type of for loop or even while loop uh, to achieve the infinite loop so you can see that uh, this function uh, takes a parameter of void constant argument and then uh, that's a pointer and then uh, I'll go to private uh, variables and I want to show you how you can create the task for the blue LED and I'm going to have OS thread ID and I'm going to name this task to handle and then I'm also going to uh, define a variable or declare a variable of base type t and uh, this variable will be read, uh, read value value b So uh, this value uh, is the value that will be returned uh, when we create uh, the task. So in the user code beginner two threads, I'm going to have uh, to create uh, the task for the blue LED and we use a function called uh, x task create. which uh, takes uh, quite a few parameters and the first uh, is the task itself so the task will be blue LED task and I uh, can give this the same name uh, this is just a label you can give it any name you feel like so blue LED task then uh, from there we have uh, the stack depth is 128 then uh, we have the uh, constant uh, pointer uh, void, uh, void pointer of constant PV parameters and I'm going to pass just null and then the next parameter is the priority of the task so I'm going to give it the same priority with task one, which is a priority normal. And uh, then lastly, we are going to pass uh, the handle. So it's a for the last parameter takes a pointer to the PX created task. So it is the handle, uh, task two handle. Then uh, it's always good to test uh, whether this task has been created. So we're going to use a uh, asset parameter and I'm going to test this return value whether it's equals to is not equals to null. So, so which means that it will uh, 
the task will have been created successfully. So we are going to define uh, now this task, blue LED task, and uh, I shall have it in user code begin uh, private uh, function prototype, and uh, I have it void green LED task, then takes one parameter. Then uh, I'll define this task in user code begin form. And uh, inside this, I'm going to have an infinite while loop. So I'll use while one. I want to uh, bring uh, blue. LED at every one second so I'm going to first uh, write high GPIO right and uh, it is uh, blue uh, GPIO port then we have the blue LED uh, blue LED pin and then we are going to set this high to turn the LED on then I just copy and uh, paste it and then we shall reset it then I'm going to have a delay so I use this uh, function called vtask delay and uh, we are going to delay for one second then I just uh, copy and uh, paste it here then from there I'll copy this to green LED task but uh, I'll change uh, the pins that you're toggling so you're toggling uh, green LED uh, pin so green LED pin and then I can just copy and paste this and uh, for this I want us to uh, blank the LED after every 500 milliseconds so I'll change the delay to 500 milliseconds and uh, then I'll go to uh, options for the target then in debug go to settings so I want uh, such that when I uh, load the code uh, to the board to start running immediately so let's build the code And then load the code to our board. You can see that the blue LED is blinking after every one second, and then this is blinking after every 500 milliseconds. So it is uh, twice as fast as uh, the task for the uh, blue LED. So uh, we can also change the blinking rate. I can change this. To uh, 100, and uh, these can remain uh, to be 500. So you'll note that the blue LED task uh, blinking rate will change. So let's put the code. So then load the code to our board. You can see now the speed for the blue. Uh, LED has changed. So I'm going to delete this task using vtask delete and this function just takes one parameter which is the handle. So we are going to pass the handle for the uh, blue LED task which is task2 task2 handle 
So what we expect is that this code will uh, turn the LED on, then high, then it will be deleted and it will no longer run. So let's build the code. So then from there we load the code to our board and uh, you can see that it only uh, went on once then off so so that you can see what happened let me increase the delay then load the code again so you can see it went on then or uh, completely off so to have uh, the code running again just comment that then do the code and then allow the code to our board you'll see that uh, now it's blinking again i'll see you in the next tutorial and uh, i'll cover some of us so uh, don't forget to or like share or even subscribe bye